the dog nursery continues. Uh, the dog nuts, the dog culture, they will say that dogs are intelligent. This is what they say. They say dogs are intelligent. And the only reason why they say dogs are intelligent is because they obey. They obey their master. They obey their owner. In, you know, just to get food. And the dog nuts will call this intelligent just because they're obeying orders from a, a narcissist, from a psychopath, from someone that is, is suffering from trauma. And just because the dog obeys, you know, so called commands, they will call dogs intelligent. When the fact remains is, you know, the dog itself doesn't do anything. The dog itself doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't. It really does not do anything. Nothing. It doesn't do anything for itself. It doesn't do anything for anyone unless it's given a command. Unless its master is telling it to do something. Unless it's on drugs. Then it will do something. Other than that, dogs, they don't do nothing. So, so how can something that you know needs to be trained, something so worthless, be called intelligent when we have real, natural, wild animals out there Surviving each day, surviving each day, but dogs are intelligent when you have to pamper and pick up after them all around the world. Natural uh, wildlife uh, forests, woods are being torn down and these animals have to adapt. They have to adapt to, to new habitats, to new surroundings, new enemies, uh, find ways to find food. And then sometimes they do adapt. That's intelligence, where they don't require a human, no, not a human, a dog nutter, to train them to do something. These animals are doing it for themselves. For their young, for their group, their pride, whatever you want to call it. But dogs, you, you want to say dogs are intelligent. I, I don't see it. Just because they can jump through a hoop? Because they can run fast? Because they can find, you know, food in the pantry? Because they can, you know, look sad? Because they can, you know, sniff out drugs. <laughs> That's why you're saying they're intelligent. If you if you take away the the so the the dog nuts, the dog nuts that work in shelters, the dog nuts in veterinary then the vets, dog nuts that own these dogs, dog experts, dog professionals, dog trainers, the dog would suffer. And, and you, you dog nuts know that the dog would suffer, unable to adapt, unable to survive on its own. And it would die. It would develop these weird behaviors, these shaky behaviors, look like crap, look like shit, smell like shit, do nothing, stand in the same spot and just shiver because it's worthless. It lacks the intelligence to survive on its own. It lacks the intelligence to adapt. These dogs need you, dog nutters. And you live in this delusion that when you help these things, automatically you're thinking that they're, they're intelligent when the fact remains that they're not. It's because you are feeding them. Doesn't mean they're intelligent. You are telling them what to do. Doesn't mean they're intelligent. They're not intelligent. They're not smart things. They're not smart creatures. They're not. So you need to, to wake up and, and stop being so deluded so delusional, so stupid, 
regarding these worthless moths. It's it's just horrible how how you put the how you rate these things so high. Because you're deluded. But if you can actually see the reality of these dogs, they are worthless. They are unintelligent. They cannot compete with rabbits. I mean, rabbits are like the, the main target for any predator. They can't compete with rabbits. Rabbits. Dogs are getting owned in, in terms of survival versus a rabbit. Where everything and anything is, is, is their, you know, enemy, is their predator. You're, you're getting, your dogs are getting owned by grass eaters. You're getting owned by bunny rabbits. And dogs are so dangerous. You see, dogs are this. Dogs have this excellent smell, excellent hearing. So why don't they use that to survive out in the wild then? Because you know they can't. They can't survive on their own. Because you know they're worthless and unintelligent. You know that they've been created in labs. Man-made creatures. They're not natural animals. They can't survive out in the wild. They can't survive on their own. You know that. They can't even survive in your own house. You leave them in your own house. What do they do? They tear down the house. They rip down the house. Chew down the house. Shit up the whole house. Piss up the whole house. That's what they do. And you want to say these things are intelligent? They can't survive inside. They can't survive in the backyard. They can't survive in cages. They can't survive out in the wild. You dogs have to be around them nearly 24-7 because you know they're worthless. Rabbits can survive on their own pretty much. Rabbits, ants, worms, maggots. All of them can survive and adapt. But... The dog, which is worshipped and praised as if it's, it, as it's a god, better than everyone, it's struggling. It struggles. Struggles with everything and anything. We have to train it. Spend thousands of dollars training it. Gotta keep feeding it. All these things for this worthless mutt. Where it does nothing, absolutely nothing. And at the end of the day, all you want it to do is not maul people and not maul down the house. If you have a dog and it's not mauling down the house and not attacking people, you're going to instantly call this thing intelligent. Call this thing intelligent a good dog when it does nothing, only because it's not mauling things. And it's obeying your insecure ass. Again, dogs are not intelligent. Dogs are the worst of the worst. They are worthless. They're despicable. Every other natural animal, prey animals, predator animals, you know, little insects and bugs, they are doing well. They are doing well on their own. Homes are getting destroyed to build houses Left to right, water is polluted, but yet they adapt and yet they keep surviving. Whereas the dog has been domesticated by you, dog nuts. Yet they all seem to be so dumb and unintelligent and worthless as time goes on. And I kind of, you know, question the evolution theory. I think in some aspects it's true, but I think some aspects it's not. In the case of the dog, since the dog has been around humans for so-called 500, maybe longer than that, why haven't they adapted by now? Why haven't they adapted by now to, to, be, to be like not dangerous, not disgusting? What, what, what is taking so long? Do we need another extra thousands of years to finally have dogs that are acceptable? I, I don't know. But end of the day, dogs are not intelligent. But dogs are worthless. This is Gore the Dog Butcher with another worthless mutts. And remember, it is okay to hate dogs.